I'm Searsha. My trail name is Story. I'm an AT 2018 through hiker and I've also done the Long Trail and the West Highland Way. So I talked about gear regrets last time, but now I want to talk about my favorite gear. This is a much more fun subject. These are the things that made my life easier throughout all of these hikes. I'll start with my gaiters. These are Dirty Girl gaiters and it's so funny because I didn't know about these before I decided to through hike and anybody who sees them who isn't a through hiker asks me what are you wearing on your feet? What's over your boots? And they stop rocks from getting into my shoes. It's a lifesaver. I will not hike without these now. Like not even a short hike because I'm not trying to get rocks in my shoe. So definitely doesn't help with rain but if you want to get um, rain gaiters then that's your thing, but I hiked without them. I just didn't want the rocks. Speaking of rain, some proper rain pants because something I should have mentioned in Gear Regrets was frog togs. And a lot of people love frog togs, but I just, I didn't. They did not seem to keep rain out and they fell apart very, very quickly. So for all of you who have had good experiences with them, that's awesome. But um, I realized when I was getting close to um, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, I was going to need some rain pants that would actually work and keep me from getting really cold because Floridian here, I get cold. So these are Marmot brand and they're awesome. Um, totally keep the rain out. Warm. I can't tell you how many times I wore these at night just for the warmth of them and not because it was raining. This is something that I got in Scotland when I did the West Highland Way the first time in 2016. I did it again this year and I brought it with me again. I also brought it on the long trail and it's my bug net. So I didn't need one of these on the AT, but on the long trail, the black flies are insane. They were absolutely out of control. So this saved my face because they were chewing me alive. Just like I was covered in bug bites. My whole body was covered in them. But my face, if I wore this, I was okay. Now I can't see through it super well and it's not fun because you can't, you're not getting like the greatest views because you're kind of seeing this green screen. But um, definitely essential depending on where and when you're hiking. Like summertime in Scotland, in the Highlands, forget about it, you need one because the midges are really bad, they'll eat you alive. But actually not as bad as the black flies in Vermont. These socks in gingy toe socks, let me tell you. Anybody who doesn't use these, I just don't even, I don't even know how you don't get blisters. I got the worst blisters when I did my first big hike, which was the West Highland Way. And I didn't know anything about um, hiking or gear or blister prevention any of that. So I got massive crazy blisters. So for the Appalachian Trail, I knew I was going to have to change up my routine or I would be suffering again. So I found out about these puppies and they're sock liners, the gray ones. You wear them under your regular socks. So I would wear these some days under darn tough socks, which 100% recommend. These things, like they don't even have holes in them and I wore these my entire six month through hike and I wore these underneath every time. So I would wear those with those, or I would even wear double toe socks, because these aren't liners, these are just regular socks. And I would wear these under them, and sometimes, if I was feeling really risky, I would just wear these. But before I put those on, let me tell you the thing that saved my through hike. I was not trying to get these awful blisters again because that really ruined my hiking in Scotland. Um, and by the way, toe tape, if you are getting blisters, tape up your toes. It really, it really helps. It does what it can. It's not going to completely like save you, but um, prevents a lot of the rubbing. But what I did was this. I put Vaseline on my feet and slathered them up like you wouldn't believe. And then I put the liners and the socks on. And with this system, I did not get a blister for the entire AT. Six months, no blisters. And this is coming from the person who did a nine day hike and got blisters out of control. 
So I swear by this, this system. Um, people made fun of me on the long trail because my I would take off my boots at the end of the day and my feet would be like pristine, gorgeous. Um, not to brag, but like, they'd be perfect. They weren't dirty, they weren't blistered. They were like perfect little baby feet. And that's because you've really got to take care of them. And I would see people out on the trail who were really suffering with blisters. And I just, I had to tell them, this is, this is what you've got to do. And, and some people are like, I'm not going to carry Vaseline and do that every day. And it is kind of annoying to have to say, hang on, I've got to, I've got to do my feet now. Like I have a whole process. I can't just throw my socks on and go. And it also meant I never took my shoes off at uh, breaks. I would always leave them on and other people would have their shoes completely off, like putting their legs up a tree and relaxing. Um, but then I would have to like do my whole system again. So, but definitely recommend especially try those socks because if you get the blisters between your toes I could talk about blisters all day the snow peak so and it's so tiny it's so little and it's so light um, and this worked great for my entire hike and hikes since then so definitely recommend you don't need to have a, a crazy intense cooking system you can if you want but this little Little baby works for me. Gear ties. These things, let me tell you, they have so many uses. I use these to strap things to my pack mostly. Um, I use it to, to keep my hose for my water reservoir attached to me right here. Um, really, anything. You want to attach anything to your pack? Gear tie. Awesome. Um, I couldn't find them everywhere, but when I did, I was like, yes, I need them. I need more. You always need more. Let's get into knee problems because this was like the defining thing of my through hike. My, my terrible knees. They started acting up pretty bad within the first day or two. And they were bad for weeks. Um, I don't know. I know everybody doesn't have this problem, but... I just have pretty terrible knees and it happens every time I hike and it doesn't matter what I've done, you know, physical activity wise before that or during stretching anything. I just, I've got bad knees, but these things saved my life. So I thought by the time I got to Fontana Dam, I thought I was quitting. I didn't think there's any way I could go on. I started using these and they're all worn off now. I think they're a Mueller brand. Um, these braces that go right under your knee. I used one on each knee and oh, the difference was remarkable. And somebody, um, when I had hitched into Helen, I came back and I think it was Unicoi Gap and I was sitting on the ground and my knees were up and I was just like, I'm never going to make it. I'm not, it's only been like a week and I'm just not going to make it. You know, this is my dream over. And somebody, some hiker, please, if you're out there, tell me who you are so I can thank you because you let me borrow this brace. I think it's like an IT band brace, like you put it on um, above your knee and you find that spot and you put this this pressure point there. <sighs> you let me borrow this and you said you'd get it back the next time you saw me and I never saw you again. So thank you because I use this to this day and I swear by it, it's amazing. Um, so like a combination of these um, throughout my hike, eventually I did manage to take off the braces and by the end uh, my knees felt a lot stronger and I wasn't wearing any braces at all, but there would be days when it would come back, you know, and I always had them with me. I never sent those home. And another thing that helped was taping my knees. So I used this KT tape. Um, so you just like take off a little piece of it and it's super stretchy. I had never used this before, but it was great. You can cut it into pieces and then you stretch it and you, you know, tape it to your whatever's hurting and look up how to do it properly though. Um, and it it works really well. So definitely recommend. I think I found that in, I found like my first piece of it in a hiker box um, in Fontana Dam, Fontana Village. And um, I had to go buy my own because it was great. My Z-Pax tent, this is a Lexamid and um, all my steaks are so dirty. I was just camping it Disney and um, it's basically sand there, so it's a lot of sand. 
So this is a one-person Pleximid. On the AT, I used a duplex, and basically, same idea. Oh, you can hear the sand. Same idea in terms of like, it's super light. It's incredibly easy to set up. You just need to have, for this one, you need white one hiking pole. You need two hiking poles for the duplex. And um, I didn't have many issues with rain or anything. It was only if like I set it up wrong. If I pitched it really terribly, then there would be some water getting in. But I definitely recommend this. It's less than a pound. It is so impressive when you pick it up and you feel it's like a feather. It makes such a difference because I just don't want to be carrying anything heavy if I don't have to be because my back cannot take it. So highly recommend that. Such easy setup and easy to take down. I recommend my boots. I know all you people out there, you love your trail runners and that's fine. But these boots, they're, I think it's Anu by Ativa, and they did not give me a single blister. And as I said, I am like really, really prone to blisters, but these were incredible. And I used one pair all the way through, like, I think the beginning of Pennsylvania was when I, I said like, these are not gonna hold up any longer. The bottom was falling off, but they made it, I think 1300 miles. And then I ordered a new pair and um, I got another pair for the long trail and I've been using them like they did the long trail the West Highland way and they're still going strong so highly recommend um, I just really need ankle support because I'm rolling my ankles all the time and trail runners just weren't going to cut it for me if you've never used a go girl this wasn't like everybody's thing, because some people slept in, well, a lot of people slept in shelters, but I slept in my tent almost every night, and I got to pee at least once a night, and I did not feel like getting out of my tent, especially if it was freezing or raining, so I would pee in a bottle, and highly recommend. This is just a pee funnel. Super easy to use once you understand what you're doing, and you just need a little bottle, and I, so I had my little um, setup with my bottle and my funnel, and pee rag and everything, like my little bathroom section on my pack, and it worked out great. Oh, it was so satisfying to be able to pee in a bottle, let me tell you, and not have to get out of my tent. I know that's not a thing for everyone, but it was important to me. And let's see the last thing. Oh, no, not quite the last. I can't find my hat, but I had this awesome hat, and I'll just show you this is sort of like the same style. Just a wide brim sun hat, and I cut off the top here so that I could put my bun through it, because when it's super hot in the summer, I do not want my hair on my neck. I want it on top of my head, but I also want a ton of sun protection. So I was wearing this hat all the time with this bun sticking out. It was quite a look, but it really, really did the job and protected me from the sun. Even a little bit of rain protection if it's sprinkling. So definitely recommend a big hat like that. This is my z Packs hack. It is it's an arc blast. So if you've never seen these, they're incredible. They have like you can adjust how much it arcs in the back, and it takes so much pressure off your back. It's got this net here, so you're not um, super hot. Uh, you're not getting all of that like sweat on your pack, and it's so 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 ultra light. Like I swear by Z packs. They're so durable too because this has been through the AT, it's been through the Long Trail, it's been through the West Highland Way, um, and it's still fine and it's still waterproof. That is one of the best things about this pack to me, is that I didn't even use a rain cover on the AT, I would just let this baby get poured on, and everything inside was still dry. Now, on the West Highland Way, it's Scotland, so it was raining constantly, and basically no tree cover because it's all open um so i did use a rain cover just for extra protection but this is such a great pack and it's got these big and removable um belt pouches so something about my osprey that i couldn't stand was the belt pouches were not just not big enough um and it was like hard to get your hand in there they were really tight on the thing because they're attached but these you can take off so if they stop being as waterproof if you've just been beating them up too much you can replace them really easily that's the great thing about Z-Packs. You can replace the belt, you can replace a ton of stuff. And they have good customer service. They'll replace things and, and fix things for you if your tent gets holes in it. Um, they'll patch it up for you. 
So those are my favorite things. I had a ton of other stuff too, but like, I mean, isn't it great that, like I said, I had more things that I loved than things that I regretted. And it just takes time because I'm looking around and almost none of this stuff was with me at the beginning of my hike. So when you go on your initial gear haul and you get everything together, you might not be seeing some of that stuff at the end and you'll be seeing a whole new setup. And it's kind of exciting because you're just learning what you like and what works for you. So I hope that was helpful. I love talking about gear. I, I'm not like the most knowledgeable gear person, but I know what works for me and I, I love sharing that with other people. So happy trails. Thanks for watching. Thank you.